Hello everyone, this is Malajai Ranch here, here today with another DVD-ish and Blu-ray video. Basically another physical media one, like, <laughs> a very uh, groundbreaking subject, I know, but, um, yeah, today we're actually going to be doing something we have not done in a while, and that is, don't, we're going to be doing a DVD and Blu-ray comparison type video. And, um, yeah, what is it actually? Well, okay, we're not even going to do that shit. Y you know what it is, you clicked on the video. We are going to be comparing the DVD and Blu-ray versions of the first six Star Wars movies, uh, specifically the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy. Now, um, yeah, if you're a frequent viewer of my community tab, you will know that, uh, yeah, I fucking love Star Wars. I've been watching a lot of Star Wars movies lately. Some of them I've already seen and re-watching. Some of them I actually just first finally watch all the way through. But, um, yeah, I fucking really love the Star Wars franchise, just... Pretty much nearly everything about it. Well, okay, there, there's obviously some stuff that I'm not the biggest fan of, but, like, I love every single Star Wars movie, um, live action anyway. Uh, I recently rewatched uh, Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. I really liked both of those movies. I watched um, Rogue One, really liked that. Solo, liked that. And, but I even watched uh, The Rise of Skywalker, which, um, yeah, that wasn't a great movie, perhaps, but... I really enjoyed it, and I mean, speed, also speaking of that, uh, we will do a Star Wars collection video once that arrives, but, um, yeah, it was supposed to arrive today, but, like, they pushed it back further, but, um, yeah, um, anyways, um, yeah, now, this isn't, this obviously doesn't represent every single piece of Star of these movies that were released in, like, theaters or anything, or even on the physical media, because I know there's, like, the original VHS versions, the Laserdisc versions, special editions and stuff like that, but, like, just, so far, we're just going to focus on the uh, 2004 uh, Trilogy DVD, which I actually <laughs> have just gotten around. I, I've got the bots just for this video. Uh, the three individual prequel DVDs that were released. Um, I don't know if these come in a bot set of any kind. Uh, I got these all separately, so that explains that. And the recent uh, Blu-ray, uh, Complete Saga Blu-ray uh, discs that just actually arrived today, so... Yeah, uh, we're just going to do this to kind of hold it uh, out for um, a little bit. And also, so uh, you people can see what these kind of look like. So we are going to start, not in chronological order, but with the uh, release order. So, yeah, we're going to be focusing on the uh, DVD uh, trilogy oh, uh, set of the original Star Wars trilogy that was released in 2004, if I'm not mistaken. Now, there is a special editions of each of these. They come with, like, a bonus disc that come with the original variants. I might actually get those at some point, but... I don't know. It, it just depends on how I'm feeling, but, um, yeah, uh, this actually isn't the only box that was in here. There is actually one inside of it, and I have it on this side that shows the disc, because it's more convenient that way, but, um, yeah, this is how this looks. I think this is a really cool set, actually. Uh, not the best Star Wars set ever conceived by man or woman, <laughs> whatever, uh, <laughs> gender they or however they identify as, but, um, yeah, we're just going to focus on, like, each individual discs, and, what, I'm, I'm just gonna like speed run through all of them, and I will show the differences in special features, because I feel like that's the main thing, so, I might as well also give my opinion on each movie, just so you know, I mean, I already gave my opinions on, like, all the fucking Disney ones, so, yeah, uh, A New Hope, this is the, uh, basic, uh, standard white screen version that was released in, again, 2004, and, um, yeah, this movie itself is a classic, it's a really nice little movie, um, not my favorite one, um, yeah, I will also do, like, a top ten Star Wars movies video probably at some point, and I'll go more in-depth with my thoughts, but, um, yeah, this is a great movie, and, um, yeah, each one of these, uh, each one of the ones in uh, the original trilogy, at least, all come with the insert that they originally came with, so we're just going to take this out, and this is how this one looks. Uh, it just has, like, all the chapters, and there's an audio commentary on this, but, um... And here we have The Empire Strikes Back, uh, the best movie in the original trilogy, not... Okay, this might be my favorite of the original trilogy, but it's not my favorite Star Wars movie, actually. Um, yeah, you might know already if you've seen the community post, but I'll, again, we'll, we'll, we'll do, like, a tier list or something. Either that or a list video. I would like to do a list video, but I don't know, it depends on how I'm feeling. But, um, yeah, Empire Strikes Back, classic movie as well. Ray, uh, here's the uh, chapter selection. Yeah, and then we have the last movie in the trilogy, Return of the Jedi. I'm, I'm actually thinking about rewatching this one at some point to see how I feel about it, I guess. Um, yeah, I obviously remember really liking it, but like, I want to know if I actually... I mean, this is the weakest or like one of my favorites. I don't, I don't freaking know, but um, yeah. 
anyways, uh, here is the uh, insert. I'm going to save, like, the bonus disc for, like, the last section, actually. Um, I will show the case of the bonus disc if you if you would like to see that, well, at least the case, um, yeah, this, uh, actually comes with, a, indeed, a bonus disc, it comes with a bunch of extras, and now, on to the next Star Wars trilogy, we might as well, like, move the boxes down here, for convenience purposes, but, um, yeah, the next trilogy we have is the, uh, prequel trilogy, um, yeah, to my knowledge, I don't know if these actually have, like, a bot set that these all come in, I just got them all separately, but, um, yeah, um, when it comes to episode one, I'm just gonna be honest, this is probably my, like, my least favorite live-action Star Wars movie. Out of the main line, not talking about, like, the the holiday special or, like, the Ewok movies, which I haven't even seen the Ewok movies, but I've seen enough of <laughs> freaking holiday specials to say it's trash, but, um, yeah, again, we'll save my thoughts on, um, uh, the, the, these movies for the ranking, but, um, yeah, the next one we have is, a. Uh, Attack of the Clones, which I have a very big soft spot for. This is one of my favorite Star Wars movies. Not saying it's one of the best. I'm just saying that I really fucking love this movie. Um, yeah, there's the first disc in here. And then we have my favorite Star Wars movie, actually, Revenge of the Sith. Again, not saying it's the best. I am just saying that I indeed really love this movie as well. Love it pretty much more than every other Star Wars movie, actually. Well, I mean, you probably already guessed that, but, um, yeah, there's the, uh, first disc, and, um, yeah, might as well just show either what the front of the setting disc looks like again. We can just go show the content later once we uh, get through all of these. But again, we'll again we'll go more in detail once we uh, get through with the last one. And this is the Blu-ray of um, uh, the Complete Saga again. Not the Complete Saga nowadays, because you know they made more Star Wars movies after this one after this. But um, yeah, this is a Blu-ray. This contains just all Blu-rays of. Episodes 1 through 6. And, um, yeah, I really like the way this set looks already. Um, yeah, it's obviously going to be in higher quality than the DVDs. Because DVDs go up to, like, 480p or so. These go up to 1080p. But, um, yeah, at least at this point in time. But, um, yeah, here's the Blu-ray of each individual movie. And, um, yeah, so now it is time to actually compare them. So, yeah, obviously there are differences. I mean, yeah, that's why we're fucking doing this video. But, um... Yeah, um, obviously the covers look different, and the cases, well, actually, like, all the individual DVD ones must have looked the same. Uh, this one actually isn't the, even the original one that it came in, but, um, yeah, where these belie in differences, if I am even yet using that word correctly, are, well, the extras. So, yeah, um, the, uh, discs for each individual movie from, like, all three of these sets don't actually have very many special features on them. Where the special features come in are, well, obviously the bonus disc. So, we're going to start out with the uh, Star Wars Trilogy bonus material disc. Uh, yeah, this is the pre-made pack come-in thing. Uh, okay, I, I fucked up that sentence more than I fucked up my life. But, um, yeah. Anyways, let's actually take a look on what this actually looks like. So, I don't even know if I've showed the original uh, disc what this looks like. But here is the disc for that. And then we have the bonus material on this disc, which we will try to actually open, if I can, that is. Um, yeah, so the inside here, it basically shows what is on each one of, what is on this disc. So, first there is the birth of the lightsaber, the characters of Star Wars, uh, the Empire of Dreams, and then there's like the chapters of each one. Uh, we have the uh, the Force is with them, the Battlefront trailer, a game demo for Star Wars Battlefront. That's pretty neat. Uh, the uh, behind the scene preview of Episode Three, uh, the Return of Darth Vader, making the game. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm guessing uh, like the Star Wars Episode Three game came out around this time. I, I don't. I remember playing that a while ago, actually. Uh, we have trailers and TV spots, exclusive DVD ROM content, never before seen, never before seen production production photo gallery, posters and print campaign. So yeah, there is a lot of really cool shit on this, and I don't know if you can actually find any, any of this stuff on the other ones. Uh, well, that's actually what is what uh, is reserved for well later. So yeah, that's all the stuff for the trilogy of the original ones. Um. I actually don't really have any idea what's uh, where the in-depth content for episode one is because simple. I got this from a Goodwill and it didn't come with it. So yeah, uh, we can just go off of what's on the back. Uh, yeah, all the special features for the prequel trilogy are in are on the disc two of these. So we have deleted scenes, which I don't think are actually on any of the original trilogy. Um, a documentary film. 
Although, beginning, I, I could have sworn they maybe had this on the uh, trilogy bonus material as well, but I'm not 100% sure if it is. Multi Angel storyboards are basically a storyboard for the pod race and the submarine stuff, uh, five featurettes, and award winning 12 part web documentary series that chronicles the production of episode one. So, the webisodes, I found those on IMDb. Uh, a Duel of the Fates music video featuring John Williams. Never before seen production photo gallery with special caption feature. Theatrical posters and print campaign from around the world. Theatrical teaser and launch trailers plus seven TV spots. Star Wars Starfighter The Making of the Game. And a DVD ROM web link. Uh, I, I don't even know if that actually works anymore, but um. Yeah, I already did show the uh, bonus disc for this, or this too, and it has a, a screenshot taken straight from the uh, lightsaber fight between uh, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Darth Maul. Anyways, now it's actually time to get into detail and show what is on the bonus disc and the bonus material for episode two. So, let's just get this in here. I might just retitle this video, to be honest, uh... Like in depth DVD and Blu ray versions of each Star Wars movie because we're not actually really comparing them that much. Just, I mean, we are showing the differences between them, but like, again, I, I don't want this video title to be completely misleading. So, yeah, uh, here we have all of these special features, and yeah, thankfully we do have the, the booklet for here, so it does uh, go more in detail. So, yeah, like the last one, there is a feature-length audio commentary. Well, I mean, the last one just said a documentary. Oh, yeah, there is a documentary here, too. Films are not released. They escape. Sound documentary, uh, featurettes, uh, mini documentaries, giving you the detail of clone, Attack of the Clone storyline. Uh, deleted scenes on this one as well, from Puppets to Pitzels, Digital Characters, and Episode 2 documentary film. Web documentaries, again, the the webumentary, whatever the fuck uh, they were called again. Uh, across the Stars music video, posters and print campaign, state of the art, the pre visualization of episode two. I don't even know how many of these are actually going to be on the Blu ray, but here we have again trailers and TV spots. We have R2D2 Beneath the Dome mockumentary trailer, never before seen production photo gallery, episode two visual effects breakdown montage, and exclusive DVD ROM content. And, um, yeah, I think I'm actually going to keep these DVD versions just in case, like, there's some bonus content that's not there on the Blu-ray. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, we are just going to put this down here. And then we have Episode 3's bonus content, which, again, thankfully, it does, in fact, come with a mini booklet as well. So, yeah, we're just going to open this. And I don't even know how much I've actually looked at the inside art for here, but I, I also do like the uh, artwork that's on these. The last one had Count Dooku and Jane Doe Fett with the clones of the badge. This one has Darth Vader himself, or Anakin, whatever you want to say. Get the most out of epi your Episode 3 DVD with the special features. Sorry, I had to do that voice. Anyways, here we actually have the uh, bonus features that are listed on here. We have feature-length audio commentary, exclusive deleted scenes with introductions, Within the Minute documentary film, The Chosen One featurette. I don't know if that was actually featured on the, um, well, the uh, Becoming Darth Vader TV spot documentary thing was actually on the uh, original trilogy bonus disc, so. I mean, it would have fit here too, but I mean, y you know, you want to se separate these at least a little bit. It's all for real, the stunts of episode three, more in depth stuff. Web documentaries, again. Um, okay, what's, what's the one here? Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer and Xbox game demo. So that's cool as well. I mean, I already have both those games on PlayStation 2, but it's cool if you would like to ch check these out somehow, if you have, like, an original Xbox or something. Star Wars Empire at War trailer, a Hero Falls music video, poster, and print campaign, trailers and TV spots, never-before-seen production photo gallery, and exclusive DVD-ROM content. Now, um... A lot of the um, uh, special features on episode the episode one, two, like all the prequel DVDs are mostly the same. Uh, well, obviously, if you're watching them, they're not the same. But they're like the same type of content you get on these. But um, now it is time to see how many of the special features on uh, the original trilogy and prequel DVDs can transition over to the Blu-ray. And again, this will also kind of dictate over uh, what exactly. Um, <laughs> okay, let's actually just get into this. A thing. I don't know how much of this... Well, I did, like, kind of skim by this book, but we will see if it actually lists anything. Yeah, okay, now we'll uh, get to read from the tippity tippity top. So, the bonus discs. Uh, we have uh, interviews. These actually weren't even on the DVDs, so... 
That's cool. Uh, an interview with Liam Neeson, deleted and extended scenes. I think some of those are on the first the first episode DVD. Uh, the collection, the recent the turnarounds and video document commentaries. Concept art gallery. That's that's some cool stuff, I guess. <laughs> uh, it ta- then we have the Tatooine ones, the in- more interviews and stuff. Uh, one with uh, Rick McCallum. Deleted and extended scenes again. The collection, concept art gallery. Okay, this is all just stuff for... Episode 1, now on to the uh, Attack of the Clones ones. Uh, yet again, more interviews. This one has an interview with you and regretters, so I bet that's pretty cool. Uh, more other stuff. Then we have more Tatooine stuff. Ge- Geonosis, that's really cool. Uh, then we have Revenge of the Sith. And, um, yeah, so more interviews. This one has one with Samuel L. Jackson and uh, Natalie Portman. Again, that, I bet that's pretty cool i might i don't even know if i'm really gonna watch these but like it's still cool that they have them but um yeah okay so none of the none of the really the bonus features from the prequel dvds are on these on the blu-ray so there is a point in actually keeping them well at least the bonus of this but I'll, i guess i'll keep the movies too why not uh here we have uh now we're moving on to the second disc which i'm guessing just as this has all the original trilogy stuff here we have um well actually i'm not even gonna list what the uh places are you can already see them uh, more interviews, one with uh, Mark Hamill and Anthony Daniels, more deleted scenes, collection, concept art gallery, uh, an interview with Terry Fisher, more deleted scenes, uh, the Battle of Yavin, uh, there's no interviews there. Then we have uh, The Empire Strikes Back, which has some more, uh, a um, again, more interviews uh, with uh, George Lucas on editing and uh, Irene Kirshner, I don't know who the fuck that is. Um, more deleted scenes, the collection... Then we move on to the next one. Uh, more, some more interviews. Uh, no one exactly except for yeah, George Lucas again. Uh, then we have, um, yeah, some other stuff there. And, okay, then we have uh, some more stuff here. I didn't even really notice that. But, um, yeah, just the same old, same old stuff. But this one has an interview with uh, Harrison Ford. Well, I mean, it's on the same disc, so there's that. Um, then we have Return of the Jedi, which, um, yeah, some more stuff here. Uh a Tatooine overview, Vader's arrival. Well, these are deleted scenes again. And, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, kind of, again, like, skim by the rest of this. Uh, yeah, again, there's some more artwork in here, which does look pretty cool. If I didn't, like, freaking uh, move the disc here or move the paper here. And, again, there is a actually a third bonus disc, which this one contains full-on documentaries. And we'll see... How many of these were actually on there? So, The Making of Star Wars, don't know if that was included. Uh, the Empire Strikes Back, uh, Space Effects, <laughs> I'm guessing that's what that means. SBFX, Classic Creatures, Return of the Jedi, uh, Anatomy of a Dewback, Star Warriors, Star Wars Tech, A Conversation with the Masters, The Empire Strikes Back 30 Years Later, uh, a bunch of spoofs. Uh, yeah, um, anyways, uh, let's... Uh, oh, um... Okay, this just has, like, a bunch of clips from, like, all the, uh, like, Star Wars, uh, spoofs from, like, other TV shows and movies, which, that's a cool extra, not gonna lie, uh, it does, uh, add some cool stuff to this set, and, um, yeah, uh, we already showed the movies, so, let's just show what the bonus disc looks like, not that they exactly look that unique, but, this one has the prequel trilogy ones, this one has the, uh, uh, the original trilogy, and this one contains all the bonus, all the other bonus stuff, so, um, yeah, that is going to uh, do it for this video. Again, wasn't exactly a comparison, more so just like going in depth with these. I will still like briefly skim by these in the collection video, but um, yeah, if you wanted to know what the in depths of this of these uh, sets were, you now have them. Anyways, uh, see you people in the next video.